Tonight, the DAR high school football team retired a teammate's jersey number and released balloons in his honor as they took the field without him hours after his sudden death. 18 year old Eli Spray died in a car crash on his way to school this morning. Authorities say the car he was driving collided with a tow truck on Simpson Point Road. Spray died on impact. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Naja Sherman. Way 31 Stephen Delcizian joins us live from the Brinley Mountain football field where it was an emotional scene tonight. Stephen. Yeah, Naja, that's right. The Spray family was side by side the football team tonight, remembering Eli. Tears running down everybody's faces. Tonight, it didn't matter if you were rooting for DAR or Brinley Mountain, it was all about Eli. You know, originally we thought about just canceling the game altogether, and uh, the parents and the grandparents of Eli said, uh, by all means, Eli would want us to play the game. DAR head football coach Joel Poole didn't expect to play against Brinley Mountain Friday night after one of his players suddenly died hours ago. 18 year old Eli Spray, a senior on the football team, was killed in an early morning crash on Simpson Point Road in Grant. State troopers say a tow truck and Spray's car collided. Brindley Mountain heard about what happened soon after. It was a shot. It was a punch to the gut. It was a, one of those uh, times where you didn't really know what to think. The Spray family said the football game should still be played. It's what Eli would have wanted. We'll take Eli's jersey out for the coin toss, and his, his first cousin who plays on the team will walk it out there with the seniors. And, um, just try to honor Eli. It's all about the kids. Hand in hand, teammates, the Spray family, and the Grant community remembered Eli even when the game began. As the DAR Patriots took the field, they were down a player. The team left a hole in the offensive line, sending the message nobody could replace number 77. It's going to be a long process to recover, and it's going to be difficult for them, but you know, the kids are resilient. You could see Spray's number all throughout the night. The focus was never on the football. Coach Gardner says the grieving process is just starting, but there's a message in it all. We've all got an appointed time. We don't know the day, the hour, the minute, but uh, you know, how, how are we going to respond when, when our time comes? What are people going to be able to say? What are people going to say about us? Now, DAR won the game tonight 43 to 8 pretty handedly. After the game, DAR and Brinley Mountain players met at the middle of the field in a circle of prayer for Eli. Now, as for this investigation and what happened to Eli earlier this morning, right now state troopers are still looking into it, and right now I'm told there are no charges pending. Reporting live in Marshall County, Stephen Del Sizian, Way 31 News.